In this video, we discuss how the vapor pressure of a liquid uh, changes when that liquid is a solvent and you add a solute to that solvent to form a solution. All right, so let's think about, uh, for example, water as a solvent. Okay, when water is here, it has a natural uh, vapor pressure that depends on temperature. Uh, at room temperature, 298 Kelvin, the vapor pressure water, uh, when pure, and that is what this uh, asterisk uh, implies is equal to 23.76 torr. All right, now the question is, well, will this vapor pressure, which is simply the tendency for the liquid to put molecules in the gas phase, would that be affected uh, by the addition of a solute, uh, which in our example is going to be urea? All right, uh, so it turns out that uh, this vapor pressure effect is entropy controlled. Right, the idea is that when the water molecules are in the liquid, uh, they are much more ordered than if they are in the gas phase. Right, so there's a natural tendency to gain entropy by placing uh, some molecules of water into the gas phase. Now there is an, an enthalpic penalty to it because you have to break the interactions between water molecules and the liquid. And then the vapor pressure is a balance of the entropy that you gain by putting molecules in the gas phase and the energy that you need to put in to be able to uh, vaporize those molecules. Right, the question is, uh, uh, does that entropic tendency change when you put a solute? And the answer is yes. Notice that if you actually put here a foreign uh, a molecule like urea, right now that uh, liquid is intrinsically more disordered, right? So uh, there's less of a, a tendency to put molecules into the gas phase to gain entropy because you're already disordered, okay? Now, uh, there is a direct proportionality, though, between uh, uh, the amount of solute that you have in that solution and the vapor pressure of the solvent, and that is what we call Raoult's Law. Uh, it turns out that the vapor pressure of uh, that water, that solvent, in the solution is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the solvent, or 1 minus the mole fraction of the solute. And uh, the proportionality uh, is actually the vapor pressure of the liquid when pure. This is uh, Raoult's law. All right, so uh, again, notice that if you add solute, what you're doing is decrease the mole fraction of the liquid in that uh, uh, mixture. And what that means is that the vapor pressure of that liquid should go down linearly uh, according to the mole fraction. All right, to illustrate this uh, Raoult's law, we're going to run a numerical problem in which we're exactly going to do this, right? We're going to add now 20 grams of urea to uh, a solution that is made with 125 grams of water. And then the question would be, uh, calculate what the vapor pressure of that water would be in the solution. All right, so notice that uh, we know what the vapor pressure of water is when pure is this number. Okay, and then we simply need to calculate what the mole fraction of water would be once you add 20 grams of urea. Okay, so notice that the mole fraction is simply the number of moles of water over the number of moles total. So that would be water and urea. And then, uh, plugging in the numbers, this would be uh, 125 grams of water over the molar mass, which is 18.02 grams per mole. That is the uh, number of moles of water of grams per mole. And here we have to add the number of moles of urea. We have 20 grams of urea, and uh, the molar mass of urea is 59.9 grams per mole. Okay, so this gives you uh, a mole fraction of 0 0.954. All right, so uh, in this mixture, when you mix 20 grams of urea with 125 grams of water, there's about uh, five molecules of urea for every 95 or so molecules of water. That is what this mole fraction means. And now with this data, we can uh, go and calculate exactly the change to the vapor pressure of water by the presence of that urea. Right, so the va uh, vapor pressure of water in that mixture is going to be equal to the vapor pressure of water when pure times the mole fraction of water, and then we have all the data, right? This is 23.76 torr, and then this is 0 0.954. 
which means that uh, your uh, final vapor pressure of the liquid is going to be about 95% of the vapor pressure uh, when pure, which turns out to be about 22.7 torr. Right, so in this video, we have examined how the presence of a solute affects the vapor pressure of the solvent. That is all governed by Raoul's law. And in the next video, we're going to examine uh, the range of applicability of Raoul's law uh, for ideal and then non-ideal mixtures.